24. That's how old I am today. June 26th, 1998. At 8.15 p.m., I was born into this world. I'm not sure why I've been dreading this one so bad. I have been thinking, is it because I feel like I haven't accomplished anything yet? Is it because I still live at home? Is it because I always fall short of my goals that I make for myself? Twenty-four is not a big number by any means, but I still tend to make myself feel like a failure. To make myself feel as though I should be further on in life. A wife, a house, a little family. That's just not possible yet. Today I make this video for those that go through some of these same struggles. Today I open a door into my mind and I'm welcoming all of you inside. I hope that this video is not too dark and I hope by the end that you can find some hope. Do you ever realize how much you take yourself for granted? That every day is an opportunity to improve? Do you ever play victim in your own head? And make daily excuses for yourself? I do it. Every single day. Not anymore. No matter what it takes. Earlier this year, I made a video titled, My Return. It was the most emotional video I have ever produced. Probably until now. I was vulnerable. Honest. But I was hopeful. It was a great mindset to be in. And probably the best mindset I have been in in years. Shortly after that, I moved out of my house. I moved in with my friend Josh. I started to feel like my life has finally taken its turn. And I was filling another hole inside of my life. A few days went by, and it was just okay. More days went by, and I think we started to understand that this was not going to work. We talked about it, but everything blew up in the end. I won't get into the details for his privacy, as well as my privacy. I moved back home, and I think that's when the depression came storming back. I couldn't sleep, like I'd, I'd be up two, three, four days at a time. No sleep, no shut eye at all. I was constantly thinking about what I did or what I didn't do throughout my entire life, more specifically the past three to four years. The pain I have felt, the anxiety that drowns me, the pain that I caused others, how could I have prevented this? I can go back to a few key moments in my life and point out those specific moments. Just know that I would never change anything that transpires here in a few seconds. It made me who I am, and I am proud of who I am. What you are about to hear is pretty dark, and it is a very true story. I reenacted the best I could these conversations just to give you an inside look at exactly how I was feeling during those times I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys can find some kind of comfort in knowing that you are not alone I am thinking it's all in my head. it's all in my head. it's all in my head. So this, this girl from work, she's been coming on to me recently and there's just like so much chemistry, but she's married. Nah, it's not like that. I mean, she's getting legally, she's getting like legally separated. I mean, I've never clicked with a woman like this before. Everything she does, like her smile, her laugh, 
It's just her overall vibe, you know? Like, it's just perfect to me. Who knows, I mean, what if she is the one, though? I mean, I get what you're saying, but I can't let this one get away from me. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey girl, well, I'm just going to assume that you fell asleep. I thought you were going to we going to do a little repeat of last year and just bring the new year together, but it's okay. Sleep good and I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye. So, you still aren't answering? I understand. Nah, 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 nah. I get it. I get that you used me for two years of my life. I get that you'd rather be miserable with his ass because of your girls than be with somebody that has had you on a pedestal since day one. You know, I love those girls too. He'll always be their father. I'll never take his place. I get that. But you say that you want me and you're going to make it work. You say that I'm the only man for you. But your actions say otherwise. And they always do. And honestly, they always have. Why did you do this to me? Do you realize how much my soul is missing now that you're gone? You made me all these promises and they were never kept, none of them, not a single one. Why did we come so far to end up nowhere at all? Everything happened so fast. It's honestly a pretty big blur those those two years. Like I still have these little letters that she wrote me. Here, listen to this one. This one she was like, I love you so much, Zay. Thank you for coming into my life and showing me what it means to truly be loved unconditionally. I'm on the phone with you right now and you just hide your plane. Please don't crash, baby. Be careful. I need you. This girl is, she's gonna be the enemy. I can feel it. It's all in my head. 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 And sometimes I'm not even gonna lie. I really think about just, just letting go of this fucking wheel and just letting God bring me up there. I just can't do it no more. The more I try to take my mind off of it, the more I think about it. I'm stuck in this fucking truck for 12 hours, six days a week, trying to take my mind off of the bitch, but I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ranting. I, I just. I'm just. So, I'm just. I'm just in so much pain, and the only way to push it down is just by numbing it, and then I feel nothing at all, which causes me to want to die. Hey. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the gym tonight. Don't freak out, okay? Please don't freak out. Some guy in the Food City parking lot almost ran me over. I smacked his hood. Long story short, he got out of his car and pushed me, and I snapped. I'm covered. I'm covered in blood. I mean, it's all over me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. I just lost it. I'm on edge, and at the same time, I'm so numb. I'm sorry. I'm 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 not gonna be there tonight. I really just think I need to be by myself. I mean, I don't know why it's taking me so long to realize I have feelings for you. Fuck it. Let's give it a shot. You're my girlfriend now. I mean, that's kind of crazy to say, but I mean, it's pretty much been like that since. 
for a while now. It's been, it's felt like we've been dating for a while now. So, I mean, just about the physical stuff. I just don't feel anything here. I think it's simply because I'm just so numb. It's not you. It's all up in my head. I really am sorry though. God, I'm just such a dickhead. Just right now, it's just not a good time to do this. Please, please don't act like that. Please, please don't be mad at me. I still need you as a friend. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. Can you come back to my house, please? I'm so sorry. I know I dropped you off an hour ago, but as soon as I pulled out of your driveway, it's, it's like a piece of myself was left there. I'm just so lonely. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want, but I know that I need you right now. I think that there really can be something here. We just gotta try harder. It's all in my head. It's all in my head. It's in oh, whoa, wait a second. You still think there's something between me and you? Oh, you gotta get that shit out of your head right now. Nah, for real. Because there's never gonna be anything here. Bro, how do you expect me to be with you when I'm still not even over Desiree? I'm still not even over her. I don't know if I'll ever get over her. I really don't. Bro, why are you even crying? You should realize that this was never going to be anything. You got your hopes up for nothing. Well, the old Isaiah that you fell for is dead. And he isn't coming back. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I know you told me to no longer contact you because you don't want to get back to the past. But I'm just calling to say that I forgive you. And that I think I will always love you. I don't think there will ever be a moment in my life where the memories we had will not haunt my mind. I hope you have a beautiful life. Goodbye. I know that you probably hate me now, and I don't blame you at all. And I hate myself for how I treated you. I'm probably gonna hate myself for a long time. I'm trying to get better every day. Some days are harder than others. I know you know that probably better than anybody when it comes to me. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me one day. To all my friends, my family, I am the definition of a work in progress. If I miss a text, 
if I miss a call, if I cancel plans that we made. Forgive me. I wrestle with these demons in my mind every day. 24 is the age that I will conquer.